Games of the Crisis, and today, welcome back to episode 8 of <clears throat> Doki Doki Literature Club, where today, we're pretty much just going to be talking with Monica for the entire thing, so we're going to see what she's been saying lately, we're going to see what's on her mind, and we're going to see if I'm going to regret deleting her next episode or not. So anyways, here we go. Hi again, Nick. Hello. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Nick. Oh, we're still back there. That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtful- I can't, like, skip through! I can't skip through this! But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Pen in hand- Yeah, okay, so this was- This is what happened last time. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is all the poems I've written have been about my realization or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to <coughs> break the front of the wall. I'm dying. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Okay, so this is where we left off right here. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Nick? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. No. No, I don't like that. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. Is this what happened to my mouse? What happened to my mouse? Oh, hey, did you know I'm vegetarian? I still don't like this. Uh, I don't mean like I'm bragging or anything. I just thought you enjoyed a fun fact about me. I decided to start a couple years ago after learning more about its climate. You're a vegetarian? The carbon footprint of cultivating livestock is just unbelievable. Anyway, I decided it's not much of a personal sacrifice to stop contributing to this whole mess. What it- What? Is that so strange of a reason? Well, I guess a lot of people are more concerned about it being inhumane and all that. I don't really care as much about that part. It's weird, like we only care about killing the things that we personally relate to as a species. I guess so, but I feel like on the on the other hand, it's more it's more like one of those things where like we've been doing this since like the beginning of time. I don't know why people, you know I don't know why you guys care now. Most people are fine with killing bugs because they're icky. And of course we all kill billions of microorganisms daily without even giving giving it thought. But suddenly, if they're just a little bit bigger, it's murder. I mean, what if plants feel some kind of pain too? <gasps> they do! And we just don't understand. They do! That's the thing, Monica. They actually do. Except, by the time you, uh, by the time this game was made, we didn't know yet, but they just discovered that plants actually feel pain when they're being chopped down or picked. And they actually send out chemicals as like an alert system telling the other trees, Hey, guess what? We're under attack. What if pulling leaves off a stem feels like something someone ripping off your fingers one by one? I'm just saying, we're a pretty biased species if you think about it. Anyway, if you ever feel like making a small contribu contribution to the planet, it doesn't hurt to choose ve veggies once in a while. Even if we ever have dinner together and use data for me, that would be really romantic. I, I still don't like that. Stop looking. Look, I like looking to eye and everything. But I don't trust that. I don't trust that. I really don't trust that. Okay. I really like the sound of rain. Not so much getting my clothes and hair wet though. But a nice quiet day at home with the sound of rainfall outside my window. It's one of the most calming experiences for me. Yeah. Sometimes I imagine you holding me while we listen to the sound of rain outside. That's not too cheesy or anything, is it? Would you ever do that for me, Nick? Stop. 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 Look, one more time, you're getting deleted. I don't care. One more time. You know what? We'll make today the finale. One more time, you're deleted. One more time, you're deleted. Stop doing that. You're freaking me out. 
You're legitimately scaring me. Okay. Do you know what's- Oh, no. Do you know what's kind of creepy? What's kind of creepy? Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if after someone you knew died, you started hearing their voices in your head. Maybe I just wanted wasn't through enough. But I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. And that would ruin everything, would it? Okay, the fact that I'm just talking about this now, it's scaring me. I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you, Nick. Uh, now I feel bad. Are you kidding me? Now I feel bad. She believes that I'm not gonna delete it, but I just said she did it one more time. Guess what? You're deleted. Alright, fine. I'll give you one more chance. One more chance. One more chance or else you're gone. <clears throat> Do you understand that? One more chance, you're gone. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. You're not so hung up over- mm. Mm, Not so hung up over- <laughs> so Oh my god- Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. That poem is completely unintentional, I swear! But anyway, I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. You know how Sayori is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. Yeah. Oh, no, don't tell me she missed and it, she just strangled herself. But she just used a chair, meaning she kind of just let herself... Oh, no. She let her. She just left herself to slowly asphyxiate. As if, how do you say that? I'm not even going to bother. But a few seconds in, she must have caged her, changed her mind or something because she started clawing at the rope trying to free herself. She must have kept it... Kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more just her survival instincts kick kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably would have changed her mind anyways, right? It's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. So I just remembered that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault. She killed herself. I may have exaggerated a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Still though. I wonder how things would have been if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room, writing poems and having fun together. Well, what's the point when none of it's even real? I mean, it's the same same ending either way, right? The two of us, happily together. Ugh. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I, I'm really as happy as I could be right now. Alright, you know what? That's it. We're deleting you. Stop doing that. You're scaring the crap out of me with that. That's it, Monica. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Uh-oh. Show package contents. I'm skipping? Why am I skipping? Stop skipping. Uh. Uh. Resources. Auto run. Characters. Monica. Where's the delete button? Does move to trash work? Okay. Are you trying to fast forward? Uh oh! No! Uh, oh, hello! Oh! Oh, we're back in the game. Okay, we're it's back to normal. Oh god! Oh hi! What's happening, Nick? What's happening to me? It hurts. Uh oh! It hurts so much. Help me, Nick. Uh oh! Oh, hello, we're in space. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, she's trying to bring herself. Did you do this to me, Nick? Did you? Did you delete me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's still skipping. Let's all think about this. It's still skipping. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Mm. Everything. I loved you so much, Nick. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Uh-oh. Hello? Monica? Uh-oh, Mon- Oh. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. Oh, I killed everyone now. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. 
Nick, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Oh, that's it! What? Is that it? What's happening? Am I still skipping this entire thing, by the way? Oh, hello, she's back. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Oh, no. I've made up my mind. Nick, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Zo oh! We're still skipping this entire- Oh, hello. Oh, we're back at the title screen? This game's not- Oh, we're back to the beginning. So you're always- Oh, Monica's gone. Oh, she took herself out of the game! Do I lo Oh, no, I gotta start the new game. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, everything's messed up now. It's an ordinary school day like others. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Oh, I still never actually made a voice for Sayori, because by the time I... I think by the time I did, she hung herself. Hey, Nick! Well, there's already is one girl. That girl Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up the habit once again. Nick, are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was Im implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly sp speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Nick, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm, I'm really not- I started to say what I always do. I'm not interested in joining any club. Something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club of her very young. Oh, she's gonna be the president of the club! Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie! Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize the way I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used by third third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Nick? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Nick that Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Nick. We're the Literature Club. Uh, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Anatsuki. The tall one, whose name's apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems usually like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Uh, Nick, don't tell me. You are... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Oh, God, I'm not screaming. Sayori wraps her arm around me, jumping up and down. Hey, 
<laughs> well, if Siori's this happy, then I'm sure it won't be too bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we've become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Mitsuki decided to- Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Oh my god. What's happening? Monica's- I feel so bad now! Why do I feel so bad now? This sucks! Why do I feel so bad now? The girls have a few desks arranged from the table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri's opened the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. This is so weird. We're back at the beginning of the game without Monica. This is so weird. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing! <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one! Sayori grabs one first, and I follow. It's delicious! Sayori walks. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glasses in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. W well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cup tray. cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Well, after what you did last run, uh, not really. You just actually put way more stress on my heart. My heart pro probably died a few, a couple of hundred times thanks to you, Yuri. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> already trying to impress our new memory, Yuri. Eh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Uh, I meant, that's, that, you know, I, be I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be past time for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles into herself in relief. So, Nick, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering. I'm happy that I'm able to kind of, like, go through the beginning with, like, the voices I've been using for the others. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. The suki head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about your Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that are built deep in complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her lies light up eyes light up as she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri! Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't s just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, Manga's literature too, you know. So if Nick wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop her or anything. That's okay. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Nick? M maybe Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we could all try something new! I think it could be fun, and we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean... That's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Huh? Uh, I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested, suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Her fault? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, 
I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're if you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy of formal literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realize my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude to by finding a manga to read as well. Really? Uh, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. Y you can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, uh, w would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Oh god, why is she so close to Natsuki? Sayori, shut up. <laughs> why? Sayori, just shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I'll look forward to it. Wait, Suki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> oh god. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Nick. You think, you think so? Well... Everyone always seems to be getting along a little better with you around, Zayori. Aw, oh, Nick! Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing! Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Uh-oh. Hey, Nick! Uh-oh! <laughs> I'm a bit scared now, guys! Oh, no! I really want to thank you! I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to- Oh, no! Why? How do you know that? <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Mo- <gasps> No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! She's become- Oh, no! She knows? How does she know that? How does she know that? See, Monica doesn't even exist in the game anymore. How does she know that? Oh no! Uh oh! Oh no! That's right! I know everything that she did! Maybe it's because I'm the president now! But I know everything, Nick! <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy! I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad! But none of that matters anymore! Oh no! She's become self aware! Oh no! It's just us now, and you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. F O R E V E. No. Oh, hello, who's this? Eh? Oh, what the heck? No, what's happening? I won't let you hurt. Oh, it says no! Monica's back! Monica's back! We're gonna have a wife and fight, boys, in coding form. I don't know how this will work. I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Nick. Goodbye, Literature Club? <laughs> uh. Hello? Uh oh. Oh, that's the game. Is that it? Oh, hello? Yo, I hear something. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, hello? Who's that? Hi. 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 You? So, you don't know if you're, like, practicing piano. Oh, it's Monica! Not really any good at it yet, like, at all. Okay. But I wrote you a song. She wrote me a song, guys. Oh, nice! Rempy music. Oh, playing audio.
Aww. Oh man, that was actually really good. So this is the ending, okay. Oh, thank you, Dan Salvato. Good lord. Oh, she's deleting all the memories. Why is that gray? Is that gray because I didn't get it yet? Oh, I never got that. Well, hello, I never got that either. Oh, look at that. See, this is the one I got. You click on if you click on "I love you" with Sayori, this is what you get. Mm. Oh yeah, I got a special thanks. You're welcome, Monica. She deleted everything. Oh, I forgive you, Monica. I mean, everyone technically came back, so I forgive Monica. Definitely. Made with love by Team Salvato. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. To final, to fi I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it was continued to expose in innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I, can let, I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. But the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the Literature Club. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Oh, that's it! Oh, shoot! That's it! That's the game! Wait, what happens if I click on it? Does it not load? Oh wow, that's that's creative, A. B, I actually want to screw over with the game some more, actually. I'm gonna make some copies of this. Uh quick no duplicate. <laughs> make a little copy. I wanna see if things I wanna see how things happen. What if we Okay. What I wanna see is what would happen if we deleted Monica from the game on the get-go? Oh, Hello, scratch that. Looks like we're not going to be able to. Uh, hello? There's the Python packages. What? Wait. <laughs> Monica's not even in it. Wait. Oh, is the code still the same? So will it load on the same spot? Yes, okay. I gotta reinstall it, okay. So, well, I gotta uh, move this to trash. All right, I can't copy this at all. Oh, copy, hello, I can copy this. Okay, we're gonna paste. Question is, oh, the question is, will this work the same way? All right, let's open the package. Contents, resources, auto run, characters, Nope, it's the same thing. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this series. I'll probably do a thing or two. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do a Monica Monday, where I just spend two hours just talking to her. I'll, I, I actually might consider that. You know what? If I'm bored and I have nothing to do, then that's definitely something I'll figure out uh, to do. But that is... Well, for the main series, that is going to do it. That has been the full story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed... Um, that was probably that was a really good game. I'm not gonna lie for an anime game. That was definitely a very good game. I love the plot. The plot was amazing. Did I like getting scared? Eh. I didn't enjoy it, but 
I found it funny watching back on it, just seeing how dumb my reaction sounded. But uh, yeah, this has been a great series. And until next time, thank you, everybody. My name is Nitronic, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!